a little bit about me. I, uh, I've been doing stand-up for a while, for about five years now, and like some interesting things happen after shows. Like uh, that's the most sensitive time is post-show, you know what I'm saying? Like I finished a show and this girl came up to me, she had a picture of me on her phone. She was like, I took a picture of you on stage because I like that shirt you're wearing. Where'd you get that? And I was like, I don't reveal my sources, okay? I don't, but you know, you can just cheat, you know? Like, you don't have to turn me into your boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need, the source material is right here. Like, I'm the guy. You don't need to turn your boyfriend into me. Honestly, we, we don't cheat as much as we used to. I'm not gonna lie. Starting a dating podcast with cheating is crazy, but we just don't, honestly. We used to cheat more in the 90s, and the music was better, honestly, okay? R&B used to slap when we cheated, okay? Genuine, boys to men, Usher. We used to cheat, get into some shit, and then have to make beautiful songs to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to cheating. <laughs> Not on me, though. I'm sensitive, okay? Uh, I'm a baby. Hi, guys. A um, little bit more about me. What else is going on? <laughs> uh, I write dumb notes sometimes. I... Um, I got a you up text one day. I was going to go, you know, have some sex. I was really excited. And uh, I wore joggers, which I thought was a good idea, but it's not because joggers, you know, when you get to that moment and you're trying to get your pants off, like joggers are not the move. You know, there's nothing sexy about gripping your own ankle trying to get your pants off. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, I could just step on them, but then like they pull my socks off with them. I need my socks on for performance. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's called cold feet for a reason, right? <laughs> And like, if she pulls my pants off, I feel like a baby, and I don't like that. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? She, if she grips my ankle, that's a UFC move. I'm gonna punch her in the face, all right? Very... <laughs> so I got a solution, guys. I'm getting those basketball or warm-up pants. You know what I'm talking about? About to pull up to my girl's house like, ah! Got knee pads on and shit. <laughs> getting this dick with the mouth guard in. All right, let's get this show started. I'm gonna explain how things roll, okay? Uh, we're gonna get our king up here in just a minute, all right? We're gonna get him up here. We're gonna talk for a little bit. He's gonna go through three consecutive dates, and at the end of it, he's gonna eliminate one and then pick one, okay? Um, so listen, let's get into the intro for your king. Your king, I got to meet him before the show. He's a really good guy, okay? We got a six-foot king today, I'm really excited. All you six foot and up ladies. We got a six foot king. Yeah, all the tall guys are clapping right now. Fuck y'all, okay? <laughs> That's not cool. Um, but listen, uh, your king, he went to school in Wisconsin, uh, but he's pretty athletic, so I think he was lifting the cows. He wasn't drinking spotted cow. Uh, he's also an attorney, so he can break your heart and then sue you for it, okay? Hi everyone at DNP. Uh, I'm Doug, and I live here in Minneapolis, and I'm so excited to say that I get to be your king this upcoming week. Uh, I moved downtown last summer. I've been an attorney here in Minnesota for the last year. Uh, I'm very much a typical Minnesota guy who loves being outside and playing golf and softball, spending time with a dog. And uh, most of the summer, you can usually find me at Target Field. That's where I was last night, and that's why I might be a little sleep deprived right now. So far, dating in Minneapolis has been kind of an up and down process. Uh, but I couldn't think of a better way to kind of shake up the whole thing by trying out DNP, by being right, kind of like excited, nervous, confident feeling all at once. So if you want to see me come out of my comfort zone, I'd love to see you there. Everybody start clapping right now. Get loud for your king of the night. King Doug, everybody. Feeling so tall, I could give a high five to the pilot. Yeah, family tight, I keep small sugar like island. Whoa, inbox full of contracts, I sign with a stylist. What's going on, man? What's up, Doug? How we doing, man? You know what? This is a pretty cool experience, so we're doing it is all right a right cool now. Experience. Yes. Have the, have the nerves melted away? How you feeling? You Hell feeling no. Good? <laughs> no. <laughs> we we feel good, but yeah, the nerves I think are appropriately hanging on. Right I hear now, you there. So. Well, it means you're excited and you care, yeah. so that's a good thing. There we go. Um, just to get started here, man. Let's you know tell everyone what brings you here. Why are you at the Date Night Podcast? Oh well, that's a pretty long story, but we'll try to keep it as short as we can. Uh, no, well, as everyone here has probably seen over the last few years, dating has been a challenge for a lot of people over a little period of time here. Uh, getting back in the swing of things post-COVID has been, I don't know, a challenge, been different, trying to get back in a routine of things, 
you try online dating, you try meet people in person. Uh, man, it's not easy. Um, and I took like a, like I took things seriously to try to like focus really hard. I'm like, okay, this is something that I want to do. Having that type of seriousness is good, but it doesn't bode well for like the mindset going into a type of dating wow, situation. So you're dating with intention and it wasn't working out, you're saying? Not too, well, it, met some good people, but it was, uh, the outcomes clearly weren't there. So Fair. Um, Fair. when I got the opportunity to see something like this, you know, th this seemed fun. This and, seemed fun. And, and so far, so good. Uh, uh, and I've got to uh, meet some good people over here along the way too. So, heck yeah, man. Um, just a couple questions. Uh, so I heard, I hear you're you're an attorney. You're an attorney. Yeah, don't hold it against me, please. Don't hold it. Uh, no, I may need you someday. So, yeah, uh, we all do. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what kind of attorney are you? I am in. <laughs> no one really cares, but it's a civil litigation. So I, I'm one of the go to court attorneys, not the write your uh, prenup attorney. Pre ah. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So. I'll hear that. You could write the prenup anyways, though, right? I can try, but you might. Uh, I can refer you out. How about that? <laughs> no, nah, man. Just write it yourself and, you know, give yourself everything. That's how it works. <laughs> Smart guy. Uh, I try. Um, so I heard you have a dog. You have a dog? <laughs> I do have a dog. Nice. Yes. Do you have that dog in you, though? Ooh, yeah. I think I do. Dog he is, if, if, I, I have specific, my dog's energy is very much my energy, which is bursts of fun and excitement with long stretches of sleeping and, <laughs> and, and being comfortable. So it's, that, that's, that's the type of dog I, I, I am. And uh, me and him are a good, a good pair on that front. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a mixed bag, man. I like it. Yes, sir. I like it. Um, are you excited for these dates, man? Are you, yeah. What are you What are you really looking for, though? Like, what What you know? What would jump out to you off the page right away? Well, way? jumping out to me is, I don't know, something you, you don't look for specifically an opposite of you. But I keep things kind of close to the vest. I kind of keep things kind of in control for the most part. I like someone who tends, or I tend to do, get along the best with people who kind of bring that other side out of me, who tend to, I don't know, push you out of your comfort zone, put you in different situations, and make you kind of enthusiastic about doing it at the same time. Nice. So those types of people, uh, whoever they are, uh, it, it can come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, um, but that's tends that tends to be the people that I am attracted to, am interested in, and I don't know, on all fronts of life, want to get to know. Nice, nice. So it's more of a personality thing than really a... The, there's some, thing? There's some physical things. I am very uh, open-minded on that front where it's, I have trends that people in my life would probably see, but that isn't necessarily uh, the, uh, I'm not drawing hard lines anywhere. I, I, nice. I more than anything, just want to get to know new people. Smart so. man. Smart man. Because you never know where love can come from, man. I appreciate that. You have a wide scope. You're, you're a smart guy, man. Too, I think about shit too much. <laughs> There. Um, all right, let's get one more question in here and we'll get this thing going. Yes, How about sir. that? Um, if you had to get yourself out of a crime, I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, what you think? If you had to get yourself out of a crime, what, what could you get away with? What could I get away with? Yeah. <sighs> I know tax fraud seems pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> The IRS yes. is, doesn't have the power to get everybody, so you might as well roll the dice on that. Uh, in terms of like, uh, you heard it here, folks. I don't, I, Tax fraud. I'm, I'm a lover. And I'm, <laughs> if that's something you're looking for, it was clear. You know, it was that's clear. a whole other thing. Um, I, I'm, I tend to be a, a lover, not a fighter. So anything that requires violence, not really too much for me. Um, tax fraud's a good answer on this front. Tax fraud's a good answer. Yeah. Cool. And uh, how do you how do you think like how do you think being a lawyer has helped you in kind of like an everyday situation well, with life. Well, it's helped me with this specifically, where it's mm. one of those things where you don't get to do this thing every day. You're kind of nervous coming into it, uh, but you do it anyway, and you know that you kind of got to show up and do the thing and do the best you can and be, be there, be present, uh, even in situations you're really uncomfortable in. And so that type of thing has fared well in other aspects of life and especially here in a situation where this is speaking of out of the comfort zone 
this is as out of the comfort zone as it gets, folks. <laughs> ready for outside. Well, man, it sounds like you're ready, man. That's what it sounds like. You guys think he's ready? Let me get some energy. Yeah? Sick. All right. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this thing rolling, okay? Um, so I'm gonna step out of the way here. We're gonna cue an intro here. Your first date, her name is Queen Taylor. Uh, she comes from a small town, a place with more cows than people. Uh, which is pretty cool. She was going to be an ambassador for Taco Bell, but decided to save lives instead. Okay, so what's up, Date Night Nation? My name's Taylor. I'm 31 years old. I am a registered nurse from Painesville, Minnesota. Small town girl living in a very, very lonely world. I'm looking for my best friend and travel companion. I've done the apps. I've done the bar scene. I've done the mutual setups. None of it has worked. So here we are. Doug, I know you're an attorney, so if looking forward to meeting you is a crime, then I am guilty as charged. Let's have some fun. Everybody get loud, real that right now. Start clapping for your queen, Queen Taylor. It's the hearing people's voices that's a little bit of a challenge yeah. right now, right? Well, it's very nice to meet you, Taylor. How are you? You know, are you nervous? I think we both are. Yeah. Well, I mean, I assume you are, but we're doing all right. We're, we're here, and yeah. uh, we're doing the best we can. Is that? I brought you a little something, Doug. Wow. Um, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was told that I needed to come up with the ice breaker for the date. So go ahead. OK. We love a queen that brings gifts. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a particularly terrible chugger. Uh, I will, it. I, I, no, I will do it, but this will be a show. Okay, so, so if you pick me, I will always be your biggest type woman. So, Doug, Doug, Doug. <laughs> Doug, 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 Doug. Open that throat, Doug. <laughs> what that mouth do, Doug? Let's go. Wow. You got it, Doug. You got that dog in you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes. Woo! <laughs> On one knee like a true gentleman. Sorry, Mrs. Lewis. Oh, she doesn't know about this yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she's learning about this tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so, well, I was not expecting that. Have you ever you, been iced on a first date before, Doug? I have not. Okay. I have not. So, <laughs> have you? Is, did, where did you get the inspiration <laughs> for such an idea? Um, they told me I had to come up with an icebreaker. Oh, so you just took it as literally as possible. Icebreaker, yeah. Naturally. I'm so sorry. Do you need a minute? Nope. We're good. Okay. I, 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 there are just some natural side effects yeah. in this whole situation. Yes. I am a GI nurse, so if you need any help later, I'd be happy to assist. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I know what brought me here. What, yeah. what kind of brought you into this situation right now? Um, I just feel like I've tried everything. The apps, the mutual setups, the bar scene. I'm 31, so your girl is tired most of the time. So uh, I'd like to find my person and spend as much time and travel the world and do all the things together. So yeah, t tired is the kind of not the. There's a more specific. I, I know what you're feeling. Okay. I, I feel it. I feel it to my bones. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's one of those things where I know getting excited for something like that mm -hmm. is definitely a challenge. Yes. And this, I'm very excited. About. Yeah. So I don't know. This weekend. Okay. What was your weekend looking like coming in? This, this coming? Week? This coming weekend. Okay, so I'm 31, so all my friends are having babies. That makes so sense. So I do have a baby shower. Yes, so that's about it. That's not too bad. Yeah. I, I have no plans. No plans. So that's, wh that's where we're at. Okay. No, I've been bouncing back and forth. Right, um, except for maybe the second date with me. That's, you know what? Come on. 
What do you think about kids, Doug? How do you feel about kids? <laughs> Way to lean right into it. <laughs> uh, I am very pro kids, but I am not stubborn. I'm very much on the situation where um, that's something that I would I, I would say I would like more than I wouldn't like. Okay. But if you find the right person in your life that yeah. you feel comfortable about, yeah, um, that you you feel that connection with. Mm-hmm. How many kids? <laughs> I think two is a good number. I, my yeah. parent, my parents had three, and that was one too many. Right, because so. then you go from man to man to zone, and that's a whole. So someone's excited. It's football season. Right now. <laughs> so, it, it, so, uh, whether it be to you, yeah. Taylor, yeah, yeah. or to everyone else who's yeah. here, thanks for abandoning first night football, everybody. It's, sure. We do what we can. Vikings, are we? Are we adventure out somewhere else? Vikings, for sure. I watched quarterback on Netflix and I cried like four times. So <sighs> that makes sense. I, my, my secondary question was like, when the last time you cried was, but oh. if it was at Kirk Cousins, it was, oh boy, he is the sweetest, most wholesome man. So he is certainly wholesome. Yes. That is what he is. Okay. I so. agree. Did you play sports, Doug? I did. Okay. What'd you play? Uh, I played, uh, well, I played baseball through college okay. and then I, uh, played hockey and soccer through high school. Oh, I, still I played hockey. Really? I did, yeah. Where, where are you from originally? Um, I'm from a tiny town, kind of by St. Cloud. It's called Painesville. Painesville? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, getting shout outs from Painesville over all here. All two yeah. of you that have heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, and so I'm from Duluth, so we get we get the we get the northern Minnesota vibes. I up went here. to Saint Scholastica actually. Really? Yes I did. So you went to school about I don't know, six blocks from where I grew No where, way. Yeah. Yeah, we could have met sooner, dog. We could have, but you said know, said we did it in front of a live audience. We just make it difficult. <sighs> yes. I guess. No. So no, Sklaska, I, I'm sure that was a very good time. For yeah, you. I love Duluth. Yeah. Great place. No, Great it, place. it was. Um, I know, friends and family. <laughs> yeah, I got. I'm getting thumbs up from the crowd where's right your, now. Where's your crew? Well, yeah, way in the back over way there. Way in the back. Yeah. Hey, crew. Yeah. Nice so, to meet you. So on a kind of more personal level, go ahead. It, in terms of. I'm not, I won't get too personal, okay. but in terms of personal, I don't know. How would your friends describe you? And mm. secondarily, how, why would your friends think you're still single right now? Oh, yikes. Stuck. Ouch. You can um, bring it right back on me on the same okay. front after that. I plan to. Um, I think my friends would say I'm still single because I'm very, very picky. That makes sense. Um, I refuse to settle for any situation that I don't get the same love back that I'm giving. Um, and that's been difficult to find. So, yeah. Heard that. Yeah. Heard it's, that. It's your turn. Oh, well, it's kind of similar. I would say it takes a lot to get me comfortable with a person. Sure. I, I'd say there's a, there's a threshold where I like to kind of, I don't know, you get to know someone, you get to know someone on the kind of surface level, you mm -hmm. probe in a little bit, mm -hmm. but then... Uh, Getting past that secondary level has always been a challenge. Sure. And a lot, I have a very small circle, but at the same time, the small circle knows me, I would argue, too much. Yeah. Yeah. And, and quality so versus quantity. Quality versus quantity. Sure. So getting someone who I'm comfortable with um, in that type of yeah. setting is not always easy. Sure. And I'm picky on that front. Got it. Doug, Got it. what does it take to get into the circle, though? What's, mm -hmm. the, what's the entry requirements? Icing you? I mean that's a good start. Yeah. I know I, I, <laughs> I appreciate it on the side of uh, I take uh, too much pride in like I'm 29 years old. I shouldn't be like this. Drinking competitively with people oh, okay. when someone starts to put a game in front of me like that, because like I get really like okay, this is what we're about now. This is our activity. Competitive. Uh, very, <laughs> really selectively. Other than that, like I'm I'm very collaborative. I'm very taking care of everyone's feelings mm -hmm. and all those things, but you put a competition and alcohol involved, I get very uh, on edge. Got it. I forgot That's what your original question was. <laughs> oh, I was saying, what does it take to get into the inner circle? Well, I was, gonna I was, I was about to say a, a, a drink or two, and I don't know. I, I am a very um, affectionate person. Mm. So, it's, so that tends to be kind of like my tester to see kind of like how, okay do i feel comfortable with this person in that mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. in that kind of setting uh and sometimes i get mistaken for like oh oh i'm in i'm guilty of 
not leading someone on. Guilty. Uh, don't Attorney. we all? Yeah. No, that's what it, I'm glad we're having a good time with this. It's really easy to make fun of us. Um, <laughs> Uh, Taylor, let's turn the question to you. How oh, about no, you? that's what, okay, Toby. Do you have a, no, you don't, you don't want the attention? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, who, do you have a friend? Like, is, who would Doug have to get cleared by in order to, my sister. to pass the test? My oh, sister. your sister. I'm very close with my family. Sister, so my sister. here? No, oh, she's, she's not. She's me. president of the PTA, so uh, she had bigger fish to fry today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... She'll be watching the well, either be watching at home or watching the recording. For sure, for sure. Well, yeah. That's how, uh, how, where are you age-wise? I'm you? the baby. You're the baby. I was actually a mistake. So, we are the same no on way. this front. Happy accident. Also a whoopsie. Whoopsie. It was my parents. My my. I have a bro- older brother, older okay. sister. Brothers, eleven years older. My sister's nine years older. Wow, we are the same. We are the same. Yeah. And then not only that, um, my my dad ran out of creativity. With names, so he just named me after him. Where it was like he, there was no, there was nothing left. It's a strong name. Oh. Would you do a junior? Are you going to do a Doug well, Junior? Well, here here's the 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 information. You may see it, some fingers out there. I am the third. Um, my I could only have been a banker or a lawyer. There was nothing else I could be to like make that name work. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think you made the right choice. No offense to the baker bankers. That's, Did that, you say baker or banker? Bankers. 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 Yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Do you bake it. though? I if don't. you wanted to. Oh, oh so that was the other thing. <laughs> I am a terrible cook. Terrible. How are you in that department? I don't want to brag, Doug, but I'm pretty good. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. It, it's one of those things where it's just. It's one of those things you try and do, like you try and develop a skill. Yeah. It is not something that I was like ever enthusiastic about. You need your own cooking to be good enough for mm-hmm. you to be enthusiastic mm-hmm. about cooking something for right, yourself. Right, right. And it's a vicious, uh, what do you call it, uh, feedback loop sure. of this isn't very good. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. But I give it an effort. Right. What? Go ahead. Oh, we got, got one more question, guys. Oh, Just, I'm not going to ask this final one. final moment. Go ahead. How do you want to wrap it up? I oh, was going to ask you about Taco Bell, so that's oh, definitely yeah, not so what we're no, going with. I heard it brought up earlier. What, what do you want to know about Taco Bell? I just want to know how I feel about it, well, really. I, I, I bet positive on this front. Big fan? Yeah. Uh, I would say a 7 out of 10. Oh. It is the, sec- it is the like, second or... Oh. This was it, fun. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I'm kidding. If, <laughs> so speaking of standards, if... <laughs> Watch, if putting, watch what you're if about to Taco say. Taco Bell that okay. high on a pedestal is the standard. Mm-hmm. Ooh, boy. Uh, we should just call it now. No, Doug. that's all right. I, yeah. It is a 7 out of 10 okay. on me. I definitely do not have it tattooed on me, then, if that's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end on that. Ooh, that's a great yeah. way to end that on That was it. very good. Thank you guys so much. Right. Give it up for Queen Taylor, everyone. <laughs> Listen, guys, there's QR codes on your table. You can vote. You can vote for the date. Let us know how you liked it. Uh, everyone that votes does get a free week at Basecamp Fitness. So please vote. We would appreciate that. And we're going to go to a quick break. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. What's up, Doug? How we feeling, man? How we feeling after that first date? Great. It was That was, that was a time, I tell you. That was a time. I did not expect to be iced. Because yeah. it's not my birthday, but you know what? This seems like a birthday-like situation. So it does seem. It, you, you are the special man. I'm man. very. I'm I feel very you, special right yeah, now. Yeah, how you recovered from your icing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty, feeling pretty good. good. Yeah. Nice. All right, man. You know what? Let's just keep it rolling, dude. We're gonna roll into the next date here. Uh, our next contestant is Queen Chloe. She's a fashionista, so pay attention to the fit. She's gonna give you guys some notes, okay? I promise. Uh, she's an international gal. She's really like she gives me spies girlfriend type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? We can see her on 007. I could see her James Bond trying to holler. You know what I'm saying? Hi, my name is Chloe. I'm 26 years old, and I am from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Originally grew up in Woodbury, and I'm super excited to be on the Date Night podcast. A little bit nervous because I've never been on a podcast. I've also never been on a blind date, but I'm really looking forward to connecting with Doug on traveling and the world and understanding different cultures, mental health. I've always been interested in those topics since I've been young and I'm excited to see you all there and I'll see you soon. Everybody get loud, start clapping right now for your next contestant, Queen Chloe.
thank you so much. I, you know what? I, guys don't get flowers, like, period. So I, but, ladies, if this is something like, go for this. This is all right. This is a good move. But it's very nice to meet you, Chloe. My, uh, my mom always told me to not show up empty-handed. So, well, and men also deserve flowers. We, it, it's one of those mm. things where it's, it, it feels mm. one-sided, but I feel like it, it's just a sign of appreciation and, and it whatnot. Is. So how are you doing today? I'm good. I, I mean, honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. I am, but I'm super excited to meet you and talk about kind of some similar interests that we have. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, nervousness is appropriate right now. <laughs> it, it, it is exactly what you should be feeling. It's what I am feeling. Um, yeah, I don't know. So what brings you here in the first place? I think that um, I'm kind of a lover girl. I'm a hopeless romantic. And for my entire life, I've been trying to find someone who shares that interest with me, someone who shares that affection, that love for travel, um, understanding and support. But I think, you know, at, and I'm here, so I haven't found that. <laughs> but I was nominated by my friend and kind of convinced to <laughs> come out here tonight and I'm glad to meet you. It's good to have that type of encouragement. Yeah, I, for I, sure. I know I've gotten that in the last little bit here too. So, uh, no, and I, I know what you're saying with a lot of that stuff where, you know, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a challenge out there, but at the same time, if you're kind of like, I wouldn't say like I'm a romantic per se, but at the same time, like you kind of get those feelings for folks and you kind of maybe get too much into it at the same time. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think about anything in particular, but well, I, I I saw that you kind of have an interest in the world, and I wanted to know <laughs> where your That's favorite right. place has been, where you your favorite place you've traveled to. So one place that I know that I always, I mean, we can go world in terms of the U.S. Uh, Boston's a really fun place for me. Okay, yeah. Um, I went to I my first two years of undergrad before I ended up where I did in St. Paul uh, was in at was in Boston. Mm -hmm. I still visit every couple of years it's just a it's a place where it's both comfortable and kind of like historic at the same time it is yeah for sure. um I've, I've i've only been to europe one time okay um yeah. it's one of those things where where did you go uh, uh, london uh, so england scotland ireland okay so my <laughs> sorry those so, are some of my favorite no, countries you go you, well, you go so the um the uh it's one of those things that now that i kind of have some ability to be flexible and do those things. Yeah. Traveling is now kind of the A1 priority mm -hmm. because I kind of feel like I left some on the table over time. So so you both love to travel. That yes. sounds like what I'm hearing. How do you guys <laughs> feel about the Mile High Club? <laughs> do you want to start or should I? <laughs> Maybe a private plane. Yeah, so oh. private, plane seems, <laughs> private plane seems like... Yeah, it's queen. Well, so like... It, it's described as what it is, but then you like <laughs> you break down the logistics of the situation. And you're like, all right, we're in a fucking Delta flight, <laughs> and yeah, le it, it is doesn't not, work. It, it is doesn't not, work. You need you need you need a little bit more space and a little more privacy in that situation, or at least not a Delta laboratory, whatever you want to call it. For sure, no. But I I'm definitely glad that you are a traveler. I've met some people who don't have passports yet, which is fine. <laughs> but um, I'm glad that you have one. Uh, this is a story. I, this last, uh, not this this past summer, the summer before, yeah. I had a trip with some friends from law school that was supposed to go down to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Had my passport, had it all set up. Um, had tons of people remind me, oh, make sure it's not expired, not, don't do all that stuff. The night of um, those, I, I know the people who uh, this went around are watching right now. Um, 11 p.m. the night before, I was going to get on a plane like 6 in the morning. Yeah. My passport's expired. Oh, no. So I, uh, I don't think I've ever felt more foolish, mm -hmm. embarrassed, <laughs> disappointed. But at the same time, I got it figured out right away. Which and, is great. Yeah. yeah. So in this last, uh, this last week, I mean, I just happen to have, have some friends in, I mean, this is less worldly, but a, a, a very fun place to be. But I was in Winnipeg, Manitoba this last weekend mm -hmm. because why not? Yeah, because it's right here. Might, might as well be there in August, September, then January, February. Exactly. That's yeah. kind of the deal. Shifting so. gears a little, 
Chloe. Yes. What do you? What's your airport fit look like? What you wearing at the airport when you're traveling? Are you um, a comfy gown? You like to dress I up? I do. I love a good fashionable jogger with kind of a similar, similar fit. I wear a jean jacket and then some sort of a sports bra. My hair down. No makeup though. Cute and comfortable. I like it. <laughs> yes. Why don't you rate Doug's fit? What do you think of Doug's <laughs> fit today? How did how did I, Doug put it together? Be be critical. I'm, okay. I'm totally okay with it. Okay. I do love the fit. The colors work perfectly together. I think it is a bit business casual, but it works. That's because it works. It is. I, w- I wore this to work today, everybody. No, like, it works. Okay. The, 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 this, is, this, this worked out okay. Um, it's perfect. It's one of those things where you try to, I don't know, it would be disingenuous for me to dress kind of a lot of other ways. Like, yeah. It's one of those things I, I feel naked without my collar kind of thing where it's if I wore t-shirts way too casual as long as you're comfortable yeah so this I think is that's what matters this is uh and no I got you and I mean okay I'm also going to shift gears like a little bit Please but I, I wanted to ask what do you think your best quality is <laughs> I would say my I don't know empathy I, okay. I, I being able to understand someone else's situation while also like acknowledging the places where I'm not Mm -hmm. capable of being able to understand what's going on. Um, I'm very much a helper. Like I I very much a, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be of assistance. I want to help the people that I care about, people that are around me. Um, My, my top love language is acts of service. Yeah. So that, so then we're on the same page on that front. Um, No, that's, that's something like, uh, it's not something that's work for me. It's just, that's just kind of like the people in my life that I want to, care about and do care about that's how I show it which so, is great yeah and um I guess that's your best quality what do you think what have you been working on what is the quality you've been working how on? long do you have um <laughs> no the um dealing with stressful like pressure situations like kind of on a on a note like being able to like respond to someone on a, on, on a dime mm-hmm. my first reaction is kind of panicky historically okay but being able to respond to something and like, okay, here's what's going on. Here's how we're going to handle it. Um, that, that's something that's definitely gotten better, but it's something that's not natural to me. I anxious mess kind yes. of all like a lot of us are, but uh, it's one of those things that at least in the work that I do and the, in the life that I live is really important to develop. And, and, and I don't know, life's not going to go your way a lot of the time and For things sure. are going to come up that are surprising and unexpected and always <laughs> this this was very unexpected um but being able to respond to it mm-hmm. assess what's going on that's something i need to be working on and still do the other thing is i mean this came up before i'm a terrible cook i am terrible i am i've tried to work on it so yeah. much um but it's just, I, I feel like it's going to just gonna be out of the skill set. Well, I love it. to cook and I love to bake. Oh, so. <laughs> then, we're on, then we are in a good spot. I come spot. from a family that loves to cook. Yeah. Mm. What, what would you say? Like what, uh, not sorry, specialty. Where do you, where's your comfort zone on, on, on cooking and baking? Baking, I love to make cakes. Those are my favorite. Mm. Um, and then with cooking, I, I honestly love to make seafood. Yes. If you like yes, I, do. I like mussels and salmon. Um, cooking any type of fish is is some of my favorites. That's that's exact. That's a uh, speaking of like kind of worst qualities. One of my <laughs> worst qualities. <laughs> part of the cooking side. I'm a historically not picky eater. Okay. Uh, I I don't. I'm not proud of it. I'm not trying to be. It's just one of those things where it's like I want it. So, but seafood generally has been a place where it's like I can explore a little bit more okay, actively. Okay, that's so, good. So that's a good place to be. What. I mean, what are you picky about? It, it depends on. The, so there's things that you just don't like. Yeah, like, I hate cilantro. So. That's a yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you think it tastes like soap? You're one of those. I mean, people? maybe. For me, it's like it tastes like nothing. Um, but it, it's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate mushrooms. Yeah. I just like I can't. I tried. I can't. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, especially if you have a lot of different dishes, like Thanksgiving is a very mm-hmm. specific, a good example of this. You put everything on your plate. I yeah. want things to be separate. I want okay. things to kind of be like, okay. Not touching. They can be touched. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I'm not, I'm not trying to get a fork full of mashed potatoes and stuffing and turkey in the same thing. Like, it's just not really it. for me. Um, but it's one, 
Uh, my, my family likes to make fun of me for it. Yeah. Friends like to make fun of me for it. But so if you if you went on a cooking date, do you think that would go well? I think it would. I like I uh, I was talking about like kind of being out of, of a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. That's like the perfect kind of situation where I would be out of my comfort zone, but if I'm with the right person, that's perfect. Okay. It's one of those things where that's kind of what I, I think what a good date is. That is true. It's one of those times where like you push a bit out of a comfort zone in a direction and you can be okay with yeah. with the person you're with and try to do it anyway. Who? What kind of person does your mom want you to be with? <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> that is such a good question. Deep cut. Uh, no, I, I would say it's too on the nose to say just like her. Um, <laughs> but I would say someone who, I don't know, just, she, she's a very affectionate person and she like, she, she, I'm her baby too. So okay. like, so like she wants someone who's going to, for a mama's e wife. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she, like, 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 even if that's not necessarily like what I feel like I need or want, like mm -hmm. she wants, like, she wants me taken care of. Okay. She cares a lot. She's a, she, Which is great. she's a lovely person. She cares. She would say the right amount. I would say just a tad too much. <laughs> How about you? As what, any parent. Uh, yeah. What's your family look like? Ooh, my mom. family? Um, I would say my mom, she's kind of traditional. She was born in Malaysia, grew up in a um, traditional Chinese household. And so for me, she wants someone who is able to maybe provide for me, but she came to the U.S. on her own, so she also wants me to be independent, um, be able to take care of myself. But she wants... <laughs> <God>. <laughs> would she approve of Doug? Do you think she would approve? Oh, yeah. Oh. She definitely You guys I, got I, one last moment here. Okay, one la wow, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, is it? Time flies when you're having fun. That's Hopefully damn. you're having fun. I'm having fun. No, we're having fun. This is a really cool situation. Yeah, no, it is. Um, I would say, I don't know talk about kind of what your family wants like hopefully this isn't too personal mm -hmm. uh, why hasn't it worked out in the past for you I think that for me I haven't found someone who has supported me enough I mentioned that my my top love language is acts of service and I've just always appreciated someone who is able to help me with whether it's errands or chores or if I'm running late at work they can pick up dinner or something like that and I haven't really found that in someone yet um but it's something that i really appreciate and i am hoping to look for <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of my default setting so um which is great there we go that uh, is exciting to no, know <laughs> it, wow i'm perfect for you that's a great way to end the date actually <laughs> give it up for chloe everybody thank you give it up for chloe time right. flew by that's good to hear thank, thank you. you so much we're gonna go to a quick commercial break and we will be back and we are back. How we feeling, Doug? Pretty good. Good, good. What did you think about the second date? Really good. It, it was got to know someone new. It's yeah. one of those things where you get to know someone in a different situation. Definitely. Um, I think she started off on a much better note. Starting off with flowers is way better than getting ice. So. It was. It was balanced. It, 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 it was. It was. Well, it's one of those things like. I have neither have a, had a date start with a smear off ice nor flowers before. Mm. So. Queen. Thank you so much. You've never had a date start with flowers or with getting uh, ice yeah, before? Yeah, they're very two unique but equally enjoyable experiences. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for the third date, man. I think she's going to get up here and punch you in the face. I, I don't know. Something sweet, you know what, something spicy. You know what? You know what? <laughs> That's what I'm into some of the yeah. time. So. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Doug. I like that, man. I like that. You, you ready, man? You ready? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, man. Um, so our third and final contestant for the night, we got a wonderful girl coming up here. Uh, I think you could describe her as the funny one of the group. I walked past her table and they were all key, key, key in the whole time. You know what I'm saying? I think you guys are going to love her a lot. She's an engineer, so she's super smart. She's 27. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm 27. I lived in Minneapolis for about two years, but I'm originally from Bismarck, North Dakota. And all my siblings just had their first kid, so I became an aunt of three in August. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to watch me go on a first date. Bye. Start clapping right now. Get really loud for Queen Rachel. It's the place to be. Uh -huh. It's about that time. Us two. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, what you know about going out? Head west, red legs, TVs, all up in the headrest. Try and live it up, rock jewel, pick a truck, peach all glittered up, stick a kid, stick a what? Jig That's with so a cut, easy. stick a kid, I was like, what? Well. Right. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, so it's it been out. a learning experience with the microphones. Yeah, of course. I, have, you, have you ever had a date where there's a microphone in your hand the whole time? No, I think this is the first. Yeah, me too. Well, no, it is. Well, it's number three for me in the situation. Oh, but it's, wow. Ouch. Yeah, that's all right. But how are you doing here this evening? Good. I didn't come here to punch you in the face, but like maybe if I did, you could be my lawyer. For <laughs> This seems like a very meta experience. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No. I'm like not a violent person. No. You know, sometimes. Only if provoked. Yeah. But yeah. Well, hopefully we won't get to that. I mean, who no. knows? Maybe. You said you liked it. So. <laughs> if you're lucky, maybe. If you're lucky, maybe. Uh, okay. Rachel, I like the cowboy boots. That's a nice touch. Thank honestly. you. But like cowboy in like a city cowboy way, like not in like a yeehaw way. Yeah, I understand. I, I know exactly what you're talking okay. about. As someone who... Uh, so. Uh, from Duluth. And okay. Where, where are you from originally? I'm from Bismarck, North Bis Dakota. So it kind of is country, but like my neighbors had horses and, yeah. and a donkey. It's I was going to say, like, you can get authentic. That seems yeah. like an authentic my cowboy boot. My first area. car was a truck. Like, it's fine. That exa <laughs> Mine was a uh, 2006 Dodge Nitro. I don't know anything about cars. Well, me neither. And that's why I had that car, <laughs> which was a pile okay. for anyone who knows what it was. Was it big? Did it have a big back seat? It didn't have a small back seat. There we go. So, do some stretching. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that's. <laughs> so what brought you, what brought you to Minneapolis? Uh, work, and I just like really wanted a big city or bigger city. Bigger Even city. Minneapolis feels kind of small sometimes. I'm just I yeah. like I like the big cities. That's I, I I'm in the same boat where I don't know I was in, Matt well. St. Paul, then Madison, okay. then Milwaukee, then here. Oh, okay, okay. So What's kind of best one of them all? Min well, Minneapolis, <laughs> I've stuck around so far. Right, right. So uh, you must like it a little. But all those places, like it's never been because oh, I'm gonna spite that place where right, it's right. I I <laughs> I get annoying to some people because it's like I don't hate anything. I'm not okay. a very hateful person. Where like if <laughs> if I do hate you, oh boy, man, you've done something really really wrong. Um, but that's good. Yeah, you know, that's what it is. And uh, that, I mean, that's what I've been told is a red flag about me. What? Which is like, I'm not a hater either. Some of my friends get oh, mad at me, like when I don't want to gossip. Yeah. Oh. They're like, just gossip with me. No, and I'm I like, don't. I don't do this really at all. Nice. Yeah, she's, she's really like, nice. She's really nice. And even if they're not, you're like, oh, they're, they're probably like, they're probably going through a lot. Right. Like maybe she had a bad day. Like, yeah. Like it's it's right. I, I, I'm too apologetic on that front. Where yes, a lot of people get very yeah. with me very quickly. Yeah. Um, and the same thing was like, the red flag. I'll, I'll, sh I'll okay. share a red flag if you might want to share it. You don't, I don't have, have to. I don't have any. <laughs> I'm perfect. I might need to outsource this question. <laughs> um, mine is, uh, like, I tend to, anyone I, like, I'm still, like, friends with. Okay. Like, I, 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 I tend to, like, oh, it didn't work out, fine. We, let's still see each other in our own friend capacities. Okay. So, I mean, I would, like, if we were to date, I think I would be upset if you were seeing your exes. That's what I, yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't really. That's, I'd say that's a, I'd, I'd say that is totally fair. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I bring it up. Just because it's okay. just one of those things where it's like. But it also means you're like no bad blood with, which is yeah, good. Cause, like, because when, when it's more of a red flag when a guy says like, oh, my ex is a bitch. Like, I crazy. hate that girl's crazy. I hate her. Like yeah. that is, like who made her that way? Yeah. Obviously well, the man. Well, <laughs> Most likely. We don't have a great track record. Right. Like, we... <laughs> like, percentage-wise. Like, no, well. no, it's not good. Uh, but no, I, I, just, I bring it up. Just so it's one thing that's like, oh, yeah, I, I am too forgiving to kind of on, on that front, which okay, is, okay. I think, is a good quality. All right, let's switch it up. Doug. You go, bro. What kind of music do you like, man? Ooh, so I... I hear Rachel likes good music taste. I hear oh, like boy. A sophisticated music. Now I'm, on, now got, I'm on the spot. I, I am... I guess what's the last concert you went to? Oh, uh, I was at um, Bon Iver in Duluth. Oh, about fun. A He's very ago. Duluth. Yeah. So, yeah, we got some... The folks, the folks who I was with back okay, there okay. are all back there at the same time. Good. Um, but it, it varies pretty wildly. I... I mean, if I just have to like Same. listen to any music, like like '90s, early 2000s alt rock oh, for some okay, reason, okay. Um, I, I I am both ashamed yet proud 
No, me. that's like, good. That's always always a vibe. Yeah, it's just it's just it's comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's it's more on the acoustic side. My friends side. would love you. Oh. Oh, acoustic. Well, they no, no, not acoustic, anyways. but like uh, uh, like a little bit more on the. You can go harder. You can go softer. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. They yeah. would love that. Yeah. I'm I'm way all over the board. Like not really country music, even though I'm wearing cowboy boots, but. I don't know. I was about to say, did they kick you out of Bismarck or did they? No, did they <laughs> no they want me back really bad. They're really trying really hard. Too it's hard. Fun. It's funny how those small towns do that, right? I know. They're like, you got to come back. My mom every day. Mm. <laughs> no, I, it, oh boy. Yeah, we got, we got our parents pulling us in two very different directions. Although, like, really? Min- Minneapolis is good. Yeah. I think for both of us, it's the yeah. right amount it's of far away. It's in the middle. Away. Yeah, It's yeah, the yeah. right amount of far away. I am going back, though, next week. So, all my, okay, all my siblings just yep. had a baby. Mm-hmm. All, they all had their first baby. So, I became an aunt in August. They all That's had so a kid. Exciting. I know. I'm so, I, haven't met, I haven't even met them yet. So, I'm going to go back and spend a whole week with them. So, two little boys and a little girl. Oh, that's really exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dad I'm excited. Four. What was that? I just said Doug the Fourth. Um, <laughs> Doug, how do you feel about Fair. how do you feel about hiking? You're not. I am. Now? I am pro hiking. Um, Anti camping. You are hitting the nail on the head right here. I don't want to sleep in a tent. No, I'm sorry. No, I will go on a day trip. Yeah. And I will go physically exert myself. Yeah. But I will not, at the end of the day, put up a tent that I can't actually get up. No, and then it's always like hard. Hard in the turn of phrase, people. Like, yeah, it's all right. That's a whole other thing. Well, we can talk about that. Yeah. (laughs) Um, The uh, (laughs) uh, hiking, very pro hiking. Me too. Um, I did. I don't know if you're going there, but I did have a really bad hiking experience one time. Tell me about it. So I went on a first date on a hike, like whatever. I was gonna go on this hike anyways, and this guy was like, "Sure, you can come with me." And I ended up walking through either like a nest of ticks or a tree. I don't even know. Like I looked at, he looked at me and he's like, you have like a tick in your hair and pulled out like three ticks out of my hair. And then I looked down and they're all over my body. I probably had like 200 (laughs) crawling all over me. And I, oh, it was so gross. I like even thinking about it right now just makes, gives me a reaction. I like sprinted away and then I came back and I was like, pick them all off me, please. (laughs) Have you gotten them all? I feel like. (laughs) Yeah, it was I, a long time ago. I know, I know. <laughs> but then, I, 200 is a lot. Well, we like went to lunch after and got oh. some beer. And then I was like, feel, good like, recovery. Touching everywhere. And I'm like, okay, like, oh my God, I feel another one. And then he would like pick it off. And oh. and then I found like one more when I got home. So I think I got them all. I, I think is a very important It was, verb long, in that it was long enough ago. No, but I, were, I, I make it. None I'm of them fine. like hooked in, I think. So I'm fine. So Doug, I could I have hear, Lyme disease. Oops, I didn't mean to cut you off. Doug, I hear you like smart women. <laughs> I, 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 do, I seem to... Uh, <laughs> women who, <laughs> at least in certain areas, will just be way smarter than me in certain areas. Okay. Um, and I hear engineer, and I'm like... I'm a, a little smart sometimes. Yeah, I don't do math. Oh, I'm really good at math. Oh, my gosh. That's one thing I'm good at. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, For all the people that, like, cross bridges and shit. Yeah, it's one of those things where I took, like, a college math class, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden I was like, okay, we're done. You're like, okay, words. We're done. Liberal artsy. Yeah. We're going we're gonna, to, like... I wouldn't say lawyer is liberal arts, is it? No, it, well, it, it's built off of it, I would okay, say. Okay, okay, fair. Uh, but it's very much, oh, oh, we're talking about our feelings and thoughts and write it down. Right. And then you turn that into arguing about banks and right. money and all this stuff and it's that's a lot it is but it's do you feel tense at work are you like oh like i just yeah. argued all day with like jeremy and we're just like ugh. short answer yes uh long answer i would rather have a job be that way okay i would rather have a job that's pushing you in that kind of way so you can like argue all day at work and then come home and never argue with yeah. me well that's uh, so people are surprised when i'm like oh i'm in litigation just because I am not much of a like like confrontational. Or... Yeah, I, I'm more of a let's get together and figure out a problem kind of okay. person. Okay, that's good. So you're letting Rachel win arguments? Is that what you're saying? You're going to let her win arguments? We will, let, we will. We let, will come to let. a. We will come to a mutually <laughs> beneficial conclusion. Right. It sounds like we she's going to intellectually buy well, it. Well, we, we will come to a settlement. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And, and there is a winner and loser to it, but well, I no. feel like with a relationship, can't you both be winners? Yeah, like the whole point is finding common ground and, and right and, and yeah. being better for it. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, right, guys, we got about a minute left here, and oh. we got one special moment left. How do you guys want to spend it? 
ask a question. In the back seat of the Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm nervous. <laughs> well, we both have the same nervous tendency. This is just like, all right, let's just have that type of comment. I We're just, good. I don't know. I just have like, there's always a thing in the back of my head that's like, say it, say it. And then I can't not. I always say what I mean. Always. So I'm not sarcastic. I'm always straight to the point. Which some people don't love. So in this situation, what would you say that was straight to the point? Straight to the point? Yeah. Okay, well, I think this was a fun day, and it was, like, interesting to get to meet you, and I think it was way less awkward than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I mean, that's same. Yeah, good. Same. Good. same. Like, it's one of those... Well, way to put a bow on it, Rachel. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much. I Give it up for Rachel. Oh, yeah, just... <laughs> you didn't even touch I brought it here, yeah. Nice to meet you. Great, great, great. All right, guys, don't forget you can vote with the QR codes on your table. Basecamp Fitness is sponsored you voting. Please vote. Let us know what you think. We are checking results here. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back. And we are back, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We had three excellent dates. Everybody get your headphones on. This is a spicy moment of the night. All right. Let's get the spicy moment in. I thank you all for voting and doing all the good stuff. Okay. Listen, Doug, it's, it's the moment of the night, all right? I need you to go through. You had three lovely dates tonight. I need you to say something nice about all of them. We're respectful kings up here, okay? Run through the dates. Say something nice. Well, I have nothing to say but nice things about all of them, which is, mm. which is, which is the good part. But uh, Taylor. You we, remembered my name. Thank yeah. You. No, honestly, this was a huge fear of mine all day. Um, leading off on probably the best foot possible Good. of both like an individual date and this whole experience. Okay. So that, that was great. Um, getting only on that front was uh, a good way to be on the front foot. You put me on my heels with Taco Bell conversations. You're welcome. Which, you know what? I deserve that. Mm -hmm. um, I did not give it enough respect. <laughs> Thank you. I really didn't. You got a DoorDash Taco Bell on the way home. <laughs> just just for the, the sake. Pack. Absolutely. So that, that made that both memorable and interesting on all fronts. So great. Um, and oh. <laughs> Thanks. And again, I've never had flowers on a date before. That was really a heartwarming, comforting. I'm glad. Yeah, it, it, it's it's one of those things that you that you don't think about, but like it, it feels good on on this side to do things, and then on the side of. I heard about your cooking skills and I was like, <laughs> yep, that's, that feels good. That, that's where we need to be. That's the type of person we need to be around more. Mm, we love a chef uh, and queen. Yes. So, um, it felt com very comfortable around Chloe and, um, all things considered, it, it, it was a very enjoyable experience. Thank you. And Rachel. What's up? <laughs> Tell me. Talk to me. What do you got for me? The, again, the bo the boots let off more than anything. Oh, thanks. Um, I, I didn't draw it. Then all of a sudden it was, but it is a very Minneapolis. Oh, the, the we're in the city, but also yeah. not the city at the yeah, same time. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I got along really well with you. Me too. Yeah. It, it, it with was myself. No, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> with you. <laughs> we're I'm both, just joking. We're I'm both, just joking. We're both not bad. Um, <laughs> I, I, the, the conversation was so widespread that it's kind of hard to pick up on one mm -hmm. particular thing. So, but it, it, it's been very nice to meet you in this, yes, in this context. Too, and I, I know it's hard to meet someone in this, in this context. And I mean, we're, we're all, I mean, I would assume we're all doing this for the first time, but I know that, I don't know. Thank you, Rachel. Yes. That is very nice. <laughs> okay. So nice now, thank you, Taylor. Now is the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry, That's okay. Rachel. I would love to be, go Taylor's awesome. I would love to be Taylor. All right. It's the hair. Y'all have similar hair. You got, you caught me. Um, okay. Sorry. But listen, now's <laughs> the moment. Now's the moment. Doug, King Doug, you have to send one lady home. I do. Um, this is the hardest part of the whole thing is pushing people out the door a little bit. So, um, Unfortunately, we'll start off with um, Chloe. Uh, it was a really nice date with you. Every single, our entire conversation was great. Um, just not exactly what we're looking for at this exact point in time. So, um, but 
It's very nice to meet you, Chloe. Give it up for Chloe, everybody. Clap her off stage. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. We love a fashion queen. We appreciate her. Yeah, hand. I'm glad you did that respectfully. She had backup. Ra round of applause for Chloe, backup. everybody. She was ready to run after you. Yeah, I like The Bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Doug, the floor is yours, man. I Thanks got you. Time. This is, I was talking with my crew back there, so to speak, and uh, I told them I probably wouldn't be able to decide until this particular moment the last time. So, um, You need a drum roll? Well, what, what we'll do is, uh, well, I, I, I hate to be a situation where, because I, what I hate about dating shows in particular is you say who doesn't get it versus I'm going to say who, who does. and then No, we'll you're asking who you want to take on yes. a second date, so and she has to say yes. That's, that's it's 2020. We, yeah. get, we need consent. 20, okay. 2023. Fuck. We, we've, no, <laughs> no, it's all right. Uh, I... Time is an illusion. Allegedly. Um, All right, Doug. Okay, I got you. you Want a countdown? No, I got it. All right. All right thank you, though. Um, Rachel, would you like a second date with me? Yes, I would go on a second date with you. <laughs> Give it up for the two of them. Give it up for the two of them. Taylor, thank you so much. I object. I object. Big objection energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, 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 des I deserve it if you have words. No, no, no. Go for uh, it. You're both amazing, and I'm excited to see what the future brings for you both. So, wow. cheers. I thought you were going to ask me on a date. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ooh. if you want to hang out later, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doug, you can't lose, man. You can't yeah, lose. I, I, th this entire night, I'm not losing. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that's the show everybody thank you all so much for coming we really appreciate it we're going to be back here next week thursday with a new queen new dates we're running this all back again okay it's going to be a great time you don't want to miss it it's only getting better from here thank you all so much have a good night